Netherwood. And I am going to dive right into something that is my type of conversation piece for the radio because there's pretty compelling arguments to both sides. It's it's tough to um, – oftentimes my frustration when I am on uh, Dr. Drew's TV show is that I go I, – I, I go, what are we doing here? What, 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 what am I, what's my take on this? We're talking about a woman who kills her children. Where, where's the argument? But this one, you know, this 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 story, I think, for especially for parents, uh, those of you out there who have kids, you're going to really have strong feelings on either side of this issue. And I find, you know, I find it kind of understandable. I don't know where I'd fall. Um, uh, 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 I, I don't know where I'd fall on this topic if it were to happen to me. And what I'm speaking of is the young lady. Uh, her name is Val Hairlife Starks. Hair life. Val Starks, we'll call her. That is her name, in fact. She posted a video on her own Facebook page, and it involved her essentially berating her 13-year-old daughter. Now, by just saying that, I think you could probably jump to some conclusions, but she caught her daughter posting, her 13-year-old daughter, pretending to be older, with a fraudulent age, Um, to gain attraction from, I'm assuming, older men. And she was posting pictures of herself in her bra and panties, lace panties. Um, You know, not like your little kid panties. I mean, not that it makes a difference, but either way, I mean, that's, it's not okay. I mean, it's not okay. Every kid goes through the phase where they want to be older and they want to pretend to be a little bit more adult. But if you have a daughter and she's 13 and she's putting up provocative pictures and pretending to be older, that's going to make you flip out. I get that. But this video is pretty, it's pretty abrasive. I mean, she really yells at her, uh, her daughter. Um, uh, Steve, if we could, if, see if we could locate uh, the video um, sometime before the end of the hour. I appreciate it. I'm sorry to kind of hijack you like that. But if we could, I'd love to hear it because, I mean, the daughter starts crying and fidgeting. And, and you can tell she's very uncomfortable and embarrassed. Mom says, don't you cry now. You weren't crying when you were posting these pictures on Facebook, were you? In a bra, in a bra, and some little girl and some lace panties that you know you don't own. You still wear panties that say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So listen, it's funny. But this girl's now you can see it on her face. I mean, she's just unfolding as a as a human being. She's just crumbling. A lot of people are calling this very good, tough love parenting that we need to see more of. Some people are saying it's really nothing more than than cyberbullying. Um, how do you weigh in? I'd love to hear from everyone. Please call up. 1-800-222-5222 is the number. And for some reason, I cannot turn on the Engage the Phone line to talk to Adam Heller, who's a certified certified behavioral analyst and behavioral therapist. Hello, Mr. Heller. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much for having me back on the show. Uh, it's, it's my pleasure. It really is. Um, how do you feel as someone who kind of understands the human condition? How do you feel about this, this video? Well... The one word you used at the beginning when you said it's understandable, I understand how this mother can do this. She is uneducated, rough area, probably terrified, you know, drugs, murder, trying to keep her daughter safe. Mm -hmm. I get that. However, not only is this not good parenting, this is vile parenting because this is shame. This is humiliation. This is something that that young girl is going to live with for the rest of her life. We all, any of us that have been there know how hard it is to be 13 years old. Right. By the way, her behavior, clearly this is a kid with a problem. Public shaming is not a way to solve the problem. And, and for all those people that talk about tough love, tough love is great in private. Public shaming, public humiliation has no place you know, it might have been okay in 1920. This is 2015, and it just isn't right. We know that now. Right, and and I uh, oftentimes I, I kind of use that argument, and I'm not uh, uh, educated uh, in the topic of therapy or in human behavior by any means, but I I, I oftentimes get frustrated when people call either this show or or Loveline, and they talk about how they are quote unquote old school, and that they like to adhere to old fashioned ideas. Um, and, and, you know, 
I, I, I'm a fan of some old-fashioned ideas myself, but at the same time, we have progressed and we've evolved in how we behave in many regards, and this is just another example of that. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, well, old school's, you know, we're not bleeding people with leeches anymore. We're not, right. you know, we're not doing those things. We've learned. It's one thing when we don't know. We do the best we can with what we know. And, and in all fairness, this Valerie Starks does not come across as being particularly educated. She maybe didn't have such great parenting herself. However, we have come, we've progressed so far in understanding what emotions work like. And, and, and how people behave and how to change behavior. And the daughter needs help, clearly. The mother needs help, clearly. But this this tactic is not going to get her the results she wants. And, and she was interviewed and she said, this works for my child. Well, clearly, Mike, it doesn't work for her child or she wouldn't be doing this over and over and over again. And people act out when they don't feel good. And neither one of them feel good right now. And they both need some help, but we're not going to be putting out horrible, you know, Facebook videos for her mother shaming her because that's not going to get the results either. Right. And I mean, that's a that's a very good point. And I listen. I really do feel for not only uh, do I feel for this young girl as I'm watching her really get, get, get embarrassed in this video because look, to, uh, close to 12 million people have seen this video. We're not talking about the old days where you go into a court courtyard and you know maybe the the neighborhood would gather around and watch you get shamed. We're, you know. 12 million people is an astronomical amount of people to see a young child being berated. Um, I feel very sorry for her, but I also at the same time feel very sorry for the mother, um, let's see, oh, Miss Sykes, Sharks, I should say, because like you pointed out, Mr. Heller, I'm sure she's just acting on impulse and she has maybe um, some more primitive kind of forms of conflict resolution. And to her, this did seem like a reasonable way to deal with the problem. Yeah, I have no doubt. I, 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 I blame the mother for not knowing how to parent. I do not blame her for emotion taking over. I, I, I get the fear. You know, I've been lucky. I've lived in good neighborhoods. You know, what she has to deal with every day with her kids is, is not typical. It's not what most of us on the radio and TV live through. It's a different world. Right. However, it, it, it's fear-based. And, and when we react out of fear... The fear in her case turned into anger, and unfortunately, she just went overboard and, and chose a tactic that isn't very useful. It's, as you said, it's understandable. That poor woman is trying to protect her daughter, but this is not the way to do it. Uh, and I'll quote uh, this, this mother, this Miss Stark. She said, I said this, and I did this because I love you, not because I really wanted to embarrass you. I wanted to make a statement and stand for all parents that this is not going to be tolerated. And my question as a parent myself is, is it the responsibility of any of us to to speak out for all parents? I mean, isn't our responsibility only to take care of our own children? Of course. It's the only thing we can do. We can barely take care of ourselves. And, you know, and, and not being tolerated, it's, a, you know what, it, it's behavior that shouldn't be tolerated. That's what we all have to deal with as parents. However, what we don't want to do is make the situation worse. This kid is going to act out in other ways because of it, and probably it's going to affect her relationships. It's going to affect her relationships with adults. It's going to affect her personal relationships. Imagine this 13-year-old has to show up at school tomorrow. Right. What's that going to be like? What are other third, how are other people going to treat her? How about the people that she's going to date two years from now? Their parents thinking this is a you know this is an awful kid. You know this stuff sticks. I can say Monica Lewinsky, and boom, we go right back to something. She'll never let that go. So shaming and publicly shaming a kid just isn't the right way. It's even with the very best intentions. I really appreciate it, Dr. Adam Heller. His book Zero Pain Now available everywhere. Books are sold. We are going to take a quick break for traffic, but I want to take your calls. 